What's up America? This is Kim with Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to check out some other holsters from Vetter and we're going to check out their belts. So let's get started. We have the light tuck here today, which is a single clip inside the waistband with a claw. And then we have the pro draw, which is an over, over the waistband holster with a paddle. All right guys, so first off, let me just say this because I know you guys who've been following, following our channel for a long time are gonna all have a comment on this one and I get it. This is an inside the waistband holster and it does have a tricked out camo pattern. I told Vetter, pick a color. I don't care what it is. And yeah, I think it's kind of silly. I'm not gonna lie. If it's a concealed holster, Who's gonna see what the pattern is? But it's right? still fun. It's just but I get that people. Yeah, I get fun. it. I get it. So, <laughs> just to just to limit comments, it is kind of a cool pattern. I do want to show you their options. So we got three different uh, color patterns here that you can kind of take a look at. This is a uh, Krypton. I don't know what it's called, but it's it's a darker Krypton color. It's, it's very cool. You can see all of their uh, patterns. By the way, they're all obviously on the website, and there's quite a big selection. Not only that, for you guys, that hunters out there that want to match uh, mossy oak and what's the other one, real tree, they have uh, a pretty good selection of colors uh, for camo for that as well if you want to match your stuff. So, uh, just a little side now. Want to talk about the features? Yeah, one thing that you're going to notice right away, and the other holster we reviewed, they didn't have any light options, which we found that was a bummer. And this one they do, which is really cool, and they actually make them for the O lights too, which is really cool. In fact, here we go, the PL Mini. So this one is set up uh, for our Glock 19 with a PL Mini. Good news, bad news, good news on holsters from Vetter for lights. So the way we got this one set up, this is again that light tuck, and this one is set up for the PL Mini. Now here's an interesting thing. This is for a Glock 19, and they make a lot of uh, options for Glock 19s. I did uh, speak with uh, one of my peeps there at Vetter. And they said that they're going to start making their light draw, which by the way is my favorite holster. Uh, it would we be... have a full review of it if you're interested. It's, we a, do. it's a really cool holster. And we love the, the wing attachments that they have on it. The, this is actually the reason this holster is why I got the, these other holsters because they sold me. I mean, I don't want to make a big deal about this one because we already did it, but the quality was amazing. But as you can see, no light. So, I was told that they're coming out with lights for that one, which will be ridiculous because the holster is awesome. However, for the light tuck, they do have the PL Mini, which is sweet, along with uh, the TLR series of lights, especially the TLR1. Uh, so very common options there for that. But here's the funny part. You can get this holster with a light on it, a light bearing holster for the Glock 19 uh, PL Mini, but you can't get any light for the Glock 17. Kind of weird. So here's my thought. Uh, following Vetter, I would say that Vetter's bread and butter is concealment. And so probably from a marketing point of view, from the from a sales perspective, most people aren't buying the big full-size gun with a light on it to conceal carry. I'm not saying that people don't. I'm not even saying that I don't, because I have. And I do all the time. But it's probably not super common, right? Mm -hmm. And so they're making holsters, obviously, for the, the market, right? Mm -hmm. And so as Vetter grows and expands, I'm sure that that will change. But the 19 and the Glock, they're pretty much covered. My favorite gun of all time? The MMP 2.0. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm still out of luck on a lot of that, but I'm sure that's coming as well. That's my gun, too. Yeah, there you go. We're MMP people. That CZ is pretty cool, too. Back to holsters. Now, I'll tell you something, and I'm actually a little embarrassed by this. Uh, this this bad boy has the claw, and I asked them to <clears throat> add that because I'll be honest, I've never had a holster with uh, any type of claw attachment. There's a couple other uh, companies out there that have like an attachment there to help concealment, and I always thought, well, that's kind of what the hell is that going to do? Well, it's a game changer. I love that thing. I'll show you here in a second. But basically, uh, when you run your belt through, this claw, as they call it, pushes against the belt, and it basically takes the butt. I'm sorry, the, the grip, and it brings it tight to the body, okay? To the point where, I mean, this is a, a better shirt, by the way, also found on their website. Uh, even in a, in a form-fitting t-shirt like this, it's not going to be perfect, but I'm going to show you how amazing that, that really does change how much it brings that gun in and reduces printing. It comes with two retention options, so you can really dial it in. 
if you adjust the top one, it's gonna adjust where like the trigger guard is. And the bottom one is gonna give you more of a sheath feel. And then if you really don't like that claw, they actually send you an extra screw so you could just have a screw there instead. It comes with a really nice metal clip and you can adjust the ride and also the cant of it. So you can decide if you want to have it higher or lower and that's all a preference thing and how it fits on your body. And also the cant, so if you want no cant or if you want a, a 15 degree cant, like I prefer that, Neil doesn't. So it's a preference thing and you can just change it by just changing these two screws. Review, uh, not, a, not a separate review, but we'll look at this here in just a minute. But this is the uh, Cobra buckle belt from Vetter. Okay, very cool belt, very nicely made. But we're gonna uh, go ahead and, and put our holster on here. Oops. So Light Tuck again has a single metal clip on it. I'll just uh, put it in the back here real quick. Okay, gets right on there. Then we can tighten up our, our belt here. And this is again for our light bearing holster and it fits right in there. And what's amazing, I know I'm wearing a black shirt, but I'm gonna show you this in a second. It keeps the bottom of the grip so close to my body. So like I said, even though this is a form fitting shirt, Probably should have pulled it out before I put the holster on. If I pull this over top, again, this is not an ideal setup for concealed carry, but still, even uh, even with a form-fitting shirt, that keeps that butt of the pistol so tight, it, uh, it does an amazing job. So if you actually wore a little bit looser, normal shirt that you'd wear for concealed carry, this thing vanishes. Now, since it's a single clip system, obviously you can put it anywhere you'd like. So if you wanted to wear it at the three o'clock position if you wanted to bring it up appendix setup you can wear this anywhere you wherever you choose this thing will hide perfectly to the body and very quick and convenient the other thing you're going to notice is the sweat guard on here which is literally perfect i mean it is amazingly perfect it fits right to the very ba back of your slide so there's literally nothing of the gun actually making contact with your body so very well done there also the cutout for, this is the big one for me. The cutout here right by the trigger guard is huge because companies who don't spend a lot of time to make sure that this is right, it's it's a pain trying to get your, your fingers around the gun to get a good purchase because you only get one chance to get that really good grip on there. Uh, and so they've cleared that space off nicely. So it really draws just the way you want it. The retention, as Kim said, is adjustable, but man, it, I have not adjusted this yet. It keeps the gun in there nice and tight, but yet the draw is really, really smooth and has a nice, retention click in there. Next, we're gonna check out the Pro Draw. It's an over the waistband holster with a paddle. And the paddle, by the way, has this rubber backing. I know you won't be able to pick it up on camera because this is black on black, but it is a super grippy uh, rubber. I mean, it would almost stick to your shirt. It's, it's, it, once this thing is on, it's not going anywhere. It also has adjustments back here so you can change the cant. Yep. Uh, again, real convenient to flip on uh, flip on the outside, especially in the, if you live in a four season climate like we do in the winter time, you're gonna wear a heavy coat or something, you can still conceal this one. I got this specifically for classes and for training. This is also in a black camo pattern, very, very cool. Um, but what you're gonna see next is, hang on to that for a second. It's also a light bearing holster for the Valkyrie Pro, okay? My favorite uh, kind of training duty light, this is actually the light I carry on my duty gun. So it fits, uh, it fits in here beautifully. Pretty cool, huh? So we, it also, you could do the small old light one, but since this is an outside the waistband holster, and this is one I use for training and stuff like that, uh, this is more likely the uh, light I would use. You know what would be cool? Hmm. If they made this for the 17. <gasps> or the? Or the MMP. That would be super <laughs> awesome. Just like the other holster, it has the double retention adjustments and you can really dial it in. Their retention's really good. Sometimes we get holsters and the retention's like so snug, you have to like literally rip the gun out and you can't really have a smooth draw or there's just not enough retention and then you're worried about it falling out. And this one I feel like you get a nice tight retention but you still have a smooth draw which is really important. Absolutely. And the way this one is constructed, it's kind of, I guess you call it a taco design. I don't know, it's not my area of expertise, what you Looks call like this taco. One. Yep, it's just uh, <laughs> whatever this material is. I don't know if it's Kydex or some other like Space Age plastic, but it's uh, extremely durable, I can tell you that much. But it's just folded open, folded over rather, and it has the, uh, the whole thing is open, which again, some people can say mm -hmm. I like one or the other. My preference is I like the opening so that when I have a dirty gun or there's water and whatever crap in there, uh, I can literally just take a bottle of water and pour it in there or whatever the case is and anything just flows out of there. So I prefer that. Um, but that's kind of a really cool built-in design for it. And man, it is just 
Really sweet, uh, real good connection there, real good retention. Again, same concept as I said earlier with the light draw, right? The way they, they shape this, uh, when you go to get your get your draw, there's nothing in the way that's gonna be binding or getting in the way of your, of your, of your grip. Sweat guard on this doesn't really matter because it's gonna be outside the waistband. Nothing of this is gonna to touch your body. One thing we can't stress enough is the quality of the Vetter holsters. Neil and I were really, really impressed with all the finishes. It's just really well made. I mean, I don't know any way to describe it other than that. I mean, it, it almost looks like it was like molded or something. I don't, again, I don't know how they make them. I don't, I don't really care. Magic fairies or elves, I don't know. Whoever makes them, they do a phenomenal job. Going back to the, uh, the, the light draw, by the way, um, again, which also has retention, and you can check out that. I just wanted to show this one. This is the basket weave, by the way, just to give you a third pattern on there. But again, uh, the edges, everything is just incredibly smooth. With your order, you also get some cool little stickers that also comes with these little bags. And I personally was like, what do you do with that? When you're not using your holster, you can put it in a bag in, the, in, your, in your holster bin like we do. <laughs> I actually take a marker and I'll write on the back of what, what what holds on to what uh, what holster. If you like us, we travel around, get a lot of different guns and different things for classes and whatnot. You can write on there, this is for a M and P or Glock or CZ or whatever. And then you have your holster in there uh, when you're not carrying it. So kind of cool. Plus great little uh, just general use bags. You also could be a target. Yep, those are fun, absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I, I can't give up, I can't divulge uh, everything here. But I'm just gonna show you this real quick. So I'm not gonna tell you who wrote this who this is from, I don't want to divulge any secrets, but I can tell you it's someone really important at the company. And if you read down there, hopefully the camera will pick it up, it says that all light options for light draws are coming soon. So we are very excited about that. All right, so we're gonna take a quick look at these belts. By the way, I'm just looking at some of these stickers. This one uh, caught my eye, this is pretty cool. Little better sticker there. All right, so they sent me two, uh, two options. This is their leather option. And of course you already saw I'm wearing the Cobra buckle option. Let me just pull this guy off real quick. Uh, one of the nice things about this particular uh, buckle is that uh, for most of your like cargo shorts or pants or BDUs or jeans, I haven't found too many where the buckle is an issue fitting through. So this will fit through your eyelets. And then if you guys have never used a Cobra buckle before or know anything about it, it's a really simple, simple, but very, very strong, robust buckling system. Basically, it's all metal. Uh, you press the tabs, that will release it. You can kind of see here, I'll put my hand back here, that um, kind of has that shape. And on the other end, or the, the Cobra buckle end here, I'll just put this behind it. Uh, you see those tabs, and they're spring-loaded, okay? So basically the way it works is they just click into place, and then there is no way that's coming apart. Very simple to operate, uh, to adjust, I should say. It's just a... Uh, Velcro set up here, take your Velcro, move your buckle, cinch it back down, you're good to go. Great for training, everyday use. Uh, you can turn the buckle so you just have a flat side if you're an appendix carry type of person and, and you want your clips and stuff up there. Uh, this particular setup, very, very rigid, very rigid and extremely lightweight. This probably is the lightest gun belt I've, I, uh, I've ever really felt, to be honest with you. I would say probably 90% of the weight is the buckle alone. So. Great option, and just so you see, they do have the better name on the inside. Now this bad boy is their leather option, okay? Um, I highly, highly, highly encourage you guys to read the instructions on how to size your belt specifically for them. It's very clear and concise. Um, when it comes to leather, you're, you're kind of set, right? With a Cobra buckle, with the Velcro, you got a, a, quite a room to adjust things. You um, spend good money on a, on a belt that's already got your pre-drilled holes here, and if you can't find the right sizing because you didn't measure it properly, that's going to be an issue. But this thing is this is extremely well built. I mean, you can barely even tell I wore this thing. Um, the buckle is extremely heavy. It does have, hopefully the camera will pick it up, these are set in screws there, so you could unscrew that if you wanted to. If anything ever changed or you wanted had any issues with the buckle or something, I'm sure you could change it all out. But you can tell the stitching, uh, double row stitching there. And it does have its logo right there, which is very cool, nice little touch. But this just has a super high quality. But if I had to guess, I'd say this is well over $100 uh, 
uh, just by the quality of the belt, if not more, which I promise you it's not. But really, really nice. Make sure you get the proper measurement of it. Um, I got this set up. I got it dialed in so that I can have it from my inside the waistband as well. The other thing that's nice with their uh, metal clips, uh, because of the size of the belt and the thickness of it, you can hear it, it clicks right into place. And look at that. That is, it fills in that uh, metal clip perfectly. Uh, so it doesn't move around or anything. It is really, really nice. And here you can kind of see, because the belt is so thick and rigid, you should be able to see there that claw and see how it pushes against there. It literally keeps the grip of the pistol, okay, uh, towards, the, towards your body. It pushes up against that belt, especially with retention. So it keeps it. If you didn't have that clip there, that it would typically stick out like that. With their products, now you got a great little carry system. You got their, they got great belts. They got great holsters. Uh, we'll be definitely be doing some more reviews with them. Shirts, obviously they got this bad boy. They also have, I'm sure there's some other options, but this is the other one I have. This is their thin blue line shirt, which is really cool because it basically looks like a standard thin blue line shirt, very cool. But if you get really close, it does say Vetter right in the blue line. It's probably gonna be hard to pick up on camera, but uh, very subtle, it doesn't scream Vetter, but it uh, does support the, the thin blue line there. If you guys are interested in these products, make sure you use our link in the description below to go check them out. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. We always appreciate it. Like, share, comment. We always love to hear from you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and click that bell so you get notified every time we put a video out. You can find us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by six.